talk about this incredible VG Bender. I don't have another word to tell you what it is. It's simply incredible and I'm going to tell you why it's incredible. You would associate the workmanship and the quality of what VG Bender did to this guitar with the Mount Everest of Bender guitar manufacturers. Now Going forward, every word I'm about to say is my humble opinion. I've been playing music for almost 50 years professionally. But listen, all that means is that I've just done something for a long time and I have flavors and tastes and opinions just like everybody else. The reason for this video is simple. I want to share with my fellow musicians the incredible value that I received in getting this guitar from BG Bender. And behind me, this is a Glazier Double Bender, beautiful guitar. And this right here is a Glazier single bender, that's a, a, I have it set up as a B bender, and that's off of a 68 reissue. Both guitars are expensive and well worth the money. Every penny I paid for those guitars, I wouldn't pay, but you're looking at over $5,500 to $6,000 in two guitars. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. For me, I received exactly what I wanted in comparison to the price that I was paying for those. I paid a premium of a price and I received a premium product. Nothing better. And, and keep in mind, this is not a comparison of quality. Uh, I'm not here to say that one mechanism is better than the other. What I am here to say is that for $750 shipped to the house from Norway, I simply cannot believe what I've received. BG's work is as comparable as I've ever experienced. Before we go any further, a couple things. First of all, this is not a paid or a sponsored thing. BG and I have no professional relationship whatsoever. I am a, a customer. I didn't even know that he was on planet Earth until about 10 days ago when I ordered this thing. And number two, this is not to deter anybody from spending on whatever money, the amount that you want to spend on something is totally up to you. I simply want my fellow musician and maybe potential future benders or, and current benders to know that there's such an incredible value to be had out there in purchasing one of these BG vendor guitars. Now, in this particular instance here, 
This is a Harley Benton T-style guitar. It's a double bound guitar and that was something I happened to be looking for over the course of the last couple months. I've had a birthday here recently and I bought the 68 reissue that just happened to have a glazier bender in it which was like a double bonus. How rare would that be? And it was worth every penny that I paid. And of course I've got my double bender from Joe and folks it's just an absolutely beautiful guitar both of these guitars are studio quality I've used this one in the studio uh, probably on well, I don't know 30 45 cuts and it's just just great just great so when I saw this guitar pop up for $750 and it was a double bound T style guitar that also had a bender in it. I reached out immediately. It was on the B Bender Facebook forum and I jumped at it. I just simply jumped at it. Within a minute of its posting, I just happened to be looking at the computer. It was posted and I reached out to BG. And folks, within five minutes, we were talking. That's the one thing that I couldn't believe. I, he picked up the phone and, and called me and I was speaking to the man that was telling me everything I needed to know and first things BG doesn't build this guitar he builds the mechanism so let's talk about this really quick this is a Harley Benton guitar and I can't remember the exact model but I believe it's signed off of a 62 and listen the price point of this without the vendor anywhere from 200 bucks to $500 you can buy these Harley Bentons and folks there are just a slew of lesser price point instruments that are extremely well made I happen to play and own several AIO guitars all in one two uh, 335 models and one that is like a Paul Reed Smith and for $450 it'll just make your jaw hit the floor they're just incredibly well made and obviously at that price point they're they're attractive and you don't feel like uh, you know you're not as concerned as you would be taking out a 1967 355 which I'm blessed uh, blessed to have that's worth quite a few zeros on the end of the number uh, out to a show but with that said you don't want to sacrifice uh, quality right I mean so and I can tell you that this Harley Benton guitar is wonderful instrument it's designed after as far as its pickup system kind of the old traditional tele stuff and keep in mind listen I've got Telecasters galore including a 1950 Fender broadcaster and it's not a reissue it's the real deal from that inception of Leo's baby that he ended up putting out that we now call Telecasters Listen, every single one I've ever had, you've always had to make some type of fine tuning adjustment using something called the tone control. So I've never been able to find any Telecaster that I've always just flipped between without reaching for the tone control or the volume control. That's what these things, that's why they turn, folks. That's why they do a circle because they change stuff around. So for me, I love a guitar that has bite in the back pickup. And this guitar absolutely has that. Now you're listening to a Fender Twin with just a slight bit of reverb, a Fender Twin Tone Master, and then I also have a Fender Deluxe uh, Tone Master and also a uh, Super Reverb. Right now we're going through the Twin, and probably that's where we're going to stay, but just a slight reverb, no other effects, no nothing else. And that bite is the way I like it. And if it's a little too bitey, I just roll it back. The 
middle combination sounds like this. All the way up with tone control. Full in the neck. So from a standpoint of a guitar that doesn't have a high price point to begin with, it, man, it sounds great. It just sounds great. But the real value in this is what BG's done. And let me just pull the strap off here because I just want to show you as much as I can here. This workmanship is nothing less than as superior as you will find. Look at that. The detail, the cuts. I mean, everything is just finely machined, the components, all the adjustability right here, right there is a little indent that takes a seven millimeter little socket. And what that will do is righty to tighten that screw, that, uh, that rod right there. And that helps with the actual pulling mechanism, this right here. And as you pull in the back, right there that rod will shorten it up or make it longer if you like a, a lesser pull whatever you need to do to get it to feel right for you simple a little seven millimeter socket right there one way or the other one thing bg did tell me that is a little tip is that if you're tightening it to make it more have more tension on it then what you want to do if it if it's right at about a half of a turn then go just slightly further than that half a turn and then back it just a tiny bit to your, your tension desire. And that helps the mechanism, everything to stay in perfect alignment. And it's how BG designed that on purpose. So all the components are just top of the notch stuff that he is using. As far as the pitch tuning the string up, well now an incredible option here is that right there, that's, you can put either the G or the B right there, run it through the appropriate slot. In this case, it's a B bender, and you're good to go. You just string it up. But next time I change strings, or if I just wanted to here in 10 minutes, I just flop the strings around simply by putting them in the right spot. And man, it's, it's as simple a design as you can imagine to tune everything, in this case, the B string, this on top right there that's how we get the string into the appropriate pitch left will which is very easy to do by the way left will make more space so the string should be sharp right there then to the right string will get in pitch or will fl go flat I guess I'm going by ear but you can obviously for studio work, I'd make sure that I was exact. I would be exactly in pitch, yep. There we go, so there you go. Simple as can be, simple as can be. And of course, the strap mechanism right there, just perfect. I mean, everything is, it's perfect. And that, folks, you're looking at the total package for $750. I just can't get over it. His guitars start typically about $650 bucks, and depending on what model uh, Harley Benton that you're getting, you know they'll range from $650 and, and up. This one was $750 shipped from Norway to my door in the Florida Keys. And about eight days later, there it was complete with tracking and everything, my business with BG, with BG was 100% top notch, as good as it gets. He did everything he said he was going to do, and I did the easiest thing, I gave money. So here, here comes this guitar, perfectly wrapped, you know, protection and tracking and everything. Keep in mind, full accessibility to BG just via a message on Facebook or a phone call even. So, man, I can't tell you how excited I am for those that have been on the fence 
about possibly getting a bender that's affordable and affordable is a relative word isn't it some people can afford more than others but let's not lie the cheaper it is the more affordable something is and in this scenario you're get, getting a an instrument that is as good as anything that I own for an incredible price point and I am so thankful and grateful that I have these industry standard guitars I wouldn't trade the world for that and I wouldn't talk anybody out of doing that do it if you want to spend the money do whatever you want to do it's your money to do what you want to do with it but don't miss out the fact that these exist right now and these are fabulous fabulous I'm gonna just uh, do something I pre-recorded a little Eagles thing just to give you a little bending bending uh, ideas uh, or just give me an example rather man I'm so excited I'm even having a hard time talking today here we go excited I am for my fellow guitar picker whether you are on the road with the biggest name in the world <laughs> or you are sitting on the couch enjoying the blessings of music I don't care man I want to tell you something as long as you're enjoying the blessing and the gift of music that's what it's all about and I'm just grateful that there's somebody like BG Bender that's made it affordable for so many people out there that might be on the fence or just want to explore it and it won't break the bank the quality is as good as it gets I've never had the opportunity to play a Parsons bender or any other style bender like that until right now this is my first of that type of style I have held the granddaddy of that example uh, Marty Stewart's guitar that was owned by Clarence White I've actually been able to put my hands on that I didn't play it but I got to look at it up close and spend a little time just being amazed by what man can build and I am amazed at what BG Bender has put together folks an absolutely incredible mechanism that makes this Harley Benton guitar just go to the top of the musical Mount Everest as far as I'm concerned. This is a tool that I'm going to put right next to these two beautiful wonderful guitars from session work to live playing. These are tools for me and I'm fortunate to be doing this for a very long time and I just I'm excited to just share something good in this world so I hope that you've enjoyed this. Please understand this is just me sharing my opinion and uh, boy we all have them don't we? But in this scenario, I can't recommend this enough to anybody who's considering getting a bender to at least give consideration to this. It's just awesome. That's all there is to it. This is just awesome. Just awesome. Oh heck, now I gotta play one more dead gum little thing here. I took it all off in my excitement to say all those cool things. God bless y'all. Thank you for listening. And uh Let's keep on bending, huh?